What's up guys, my name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can get your hands on iOS 13 beta one as soon as it is released. So we are now less than a day away from WWDC 2019. I am super excited not only for iOS 13, but also the new improvements to tvOS, watchOS, and macOS. This is by far my favorite Apple event of the year. But of course, mostly everyone watching this video is looking forward to iOS 13. And I want to show you guys how you can get iOS 13 beta up and running on your phone so you don't have to wait until September of this year. You can get it on your phone a little bit earlier. So there are a few ways that I'll be showing you in this video. Let's go ahead and start with the first one, which is directly through the Apple developer portal. So this does include spending $99 per year, but you do get access to this entire beta software downloads page on the developer website, and you can download the current betas for macOS iOS, watchOS, and tvOS. So this doesn't just give you access to iOS betas, you get access to every other uh, beta download that Apple offers. So this is really nice. This is what I use uh, simply because as soon as Apple releases a new beta, I need to get it installed on my iPhone so I can make a video for you guys. Uh, this is definitely the most convenient way if you are a hardcore uh, iOS or macOS or watchOS fan and you really wanna have the latest beta on your phone uh, as soon as it comes out. But I know there are a lot of people that don't want to spend a hundred bucks a year just to have access to beta software because beta software uh, sometimes isn't very fun. There are a lot of bugs you can run into, a lot of glitches, and uh, it's completely understandable that people don't want to pay money just to get access to a pre-release beta software. And that is where the Apple Public Beta Program comes in. So Apple opened this up a few years ago. It has been very successful. Many people have signed up and you can go ahead and sign up also. I'll leave the link in the description down below. And uh, I don't think you're gonna get iOS 13 beta one as soon as it comes out tomorrow, but since this is free, it is the next best option. Usually Apple releases the public beta for iOS, the major release of iOS, I'd say about three to six weeks after the first beta of iOS uh, 13 in this case. So if iOS 13 is going to come out tomorrow for developers, you can expect the public beta uh, to come out probably in late June. So if you're willing to wait and you wanna save some money, the public beta program is definitely the way to go. But I know there are a few of you that know how to get uh, iOS developer betas on your phone, uh, slightly different ways. I can't technically tell you how to get them because I think it breaks the Apple terms of service and I could get my YouTube channel deleted. But uh, all I'm gonna say is uh, make a simple Google search. You can find it for yourself because there are ways uh, for you to get the developer beta on your phone without paying the hundred bucks a year. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, just Google search for yourself and you might find some tutorials there. So there's one more thing I wanted to throw in here at the end, just as a little bonus for you guys that stick around to the end of my videos. So there was another leak of iOS 13 today, which actually shows the new volume indicator. So right now on iOS 12, it looks like this. It goes over your screen, very ugly, but uh, Venya Geskin on Twitter actually has a pre-release version of iOS 13.0, an early March build that actually shows the new volume indicator. So you can look at this photo. I'll also link his Twitter down below. If we click on this photo, we can zoom in here and it looks like the volume indicator uh, is over there on the top right and it looks like it's a little bit see-through. So you can also see the icons up on the top right of your iPhone. Uh, it looks kind of weird and he also uh, changed his tweet and gave himself a reply. Uh, this is what it looked like on the early March build of iOS 13 and this is what he thinks it's going to look like. You can see it says, just my guess. So uh, whatever Apple does, we do know that they are working on a redesigned volume indicator. So drop a like on this video if you are excited for that. We are just hours away now from WWDC. I am super excited. Uh, waiting is the hardest part, but we will get there uh, very quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.